Hello and welcome to my series about Shop and Mazurkas. Today, Mazurka Opus 30, number 2. Um, mazurka in B minor. <laughs> It's a very short mazurka and very special. Well, not really special, but very interesting and in a way special because for the first time Chopin is using this kind of idea that at the beginning we have the theme uh, which comes into our mind and then something else is going on and then we are waiting for the theme to come back like it always did, but it never come back, never. It's only one time. This one, this. <laughs> only one time. Uh, this has a meaning. There is a symbol. Probably uh, it's like we are waiting for something that never, never comes. Um, it's very interesting. And of course, we can hear at the beginning that we have this kind of uh, silent, loud, silent, loud. Here is like a conversation, for me it's a conversation between a daughter and parents, a daughter and mother maybe. A daughter is asking question, why? Why I, why I cannot do what I want? It can be Chopin's lover, as you know, I, I, I was talking about it in, in, the, in the episode before. Uh, please, please, why? And then they are saying no! And again, definitely no, definitely no. And they this melody is a little strange. That's because, in fact, this is a happy melody, but in a minor key. If this melody were in the mi major key. Just listen how it would sound. It's so beautiful, no? <laughs> of course, it's a parody, but it's really... It sounds, it sounds folk, it sounds Polish, it's, it's absolutely fine. Except here, the original says B minor. So this means that it's some, somebody who, generally speaking, is happy, as a happy person, but in a bad mood. Or like I said before in one of the mazurkas, it's a smile through tears. So we are sad, but we are smiling. Uh, and then we have the second melody. phrase and Chopin here is doing something uh, very uh, very special but he is um, making this sound as if we are losing our breath imagine we were we are running very fast <laughs> and we have this kind of uh, feeling of that we don't have oxygen enough <laughs> and how how does he do it well um, in Again, I will play for you the way it should be. I mean, the way that 
should be without this feeling. And so on. Uh, so what's the difference? Well, the difference is that on three, instead of one note, we have two notes. So it's faster. Ta ta tam, ta 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 tam, ta 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 tam. So we have. And uh, this also provokes us to do the mazur mazurka rhythm. Ta ta tam, pa ta ta tam, pa. It sounds perfectly here. And now listen to the harmonies, because they are also very special. I will play it very slow, so that we can listen to the rich, how rich. is extremely funny. Listen, the melody, very simple two bars melody. La -ta -pam 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 -pam. It's a very Polish folk melody. It almost sounds like it's a copy, but it's not. But it's... And then it's repeating. And it's repeated. And it's repeated. So a bit boring, right? So this is not changing, but... The left hand is changing. Left hand every time is different. And that's something so, so magic. When we have the same melody every time, it's in a different mood, a different color. Uh, has a different smell or a different temperature or whatever you want. But it is different. Just listen, I play for you very slowly first. <laughs> different. First time it's rather sad. Excuse me. This is sad. Then it's happy. Then it's sad again. But only first part, the second is happy. And then happy. But with the tension. Yes. So in the tempo it sounds like this. And we have to feel this. Sad, happy. Sad, happy. Yes. I'll do it again because it didn't work so well. So we have sad, happy. Sad, happy. Can you hear this mazurka rhythm? It's very special. Here we have the kuyabiak, so the slow dance. It's not too fast, but we have to ta da da pa We can we can decide where we want to do it. We can do it both in the first bar, second. Then we can avoid it. Then we can do it again. Whatever we want, actually. This is really free. As long as you as as like as as as, as many times as you want. Without this, it should sound. play like this because it doesn't sound Polish but you can do every every two bars one again here 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 but you can also do on the first bar or you can mix it so this is so fantastic because Chopin is just giving us the choice 
what we can do and every time I play it I can do it differently. <laughs> so beautiful so this part of the mazurka is a smiling a little bit generally speaking more light and happy uh, and then everything ends very powerful uh, and it brings us to the next mazurka which i will talk about next week I hope you enjoyed it and see you again soon. Bye-bye.